Now we can discuss simple harmonic motions, the maximum values. So as a reminder, we have the simple harmonic motion equations for position, velocity, and acceleration. And these were shown in a previous video. You'll notice that each of these equations had sine or cosine in them. So when we start thinking about sine or cosine, we can take a look at their graph. One important thing to notice here is that both sine and cosine range between a maximum value of 1 and a minimum value of minus 1. They reach that maximum or minimum value at different times in the cycle, but we still have a maximum of 1 and a minimum of minus 1 for both the sine curve and the cosine curve. So let's use this to take a look at the position. The sine part of this equation is going to range between plus and minus 1. The part out front, which in this case is our a, is kind of like a scaling factor. And so that means my maximum is going to be plus a, and my min minimum is going to be minus a. And of course, the maximum happens when cosine has a value of plus 1, and the minimum is going to happen at a value of minus 1. And everywhere else in between is going to range between those values of a and minus a. Similarly, for the velocity, now I've got the sine function, but it still ranges between plus and minus 1. And my factor out here front is still going to act like a scaling factor. So my maximum value for that velocity is going to be a omega. And notice in this case, the maximum actually occurs when sine is negative 1. Therefore, the two negatives are canceling each other out. And my minimum of minus a omega is going to occur when sine is plus 1. For acceleration, again, same similar thing. We've got the cosine part, which is going to be between plus and minus 1, and our scaling factor out front. And our maximum value for the acceleration is going to be a omega squared. And the minimum value then is going to be minus a omega squared. So that tells you a little bit about the maximum values for position, velocity, and acceleration in simple harmonic motion.